Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create this minimalistic festive Christmas tree greeting card that you can send to your family and friends. Make a new document by pressing Ctrl N on Windows or Command N on a Mac. Change the pixels to inches. If you decide you'd like to print your card, make the width 4.25 inches and the height 6.25. This size will fit into a standard 5x7 envelope. Make the resolution 300 pixels per inch. Type in a name for your document. I'll name mine Holiday Card. Click OK or press Enter or Return. To fit the document on your screen, press Ctrl or Command-0. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Click on the foreground color and type in 09A818. Then click OK. Open your pencil tool and press the F5 key on your keyboard to open the brush tip shape window. If you're using a mouse, make the size 30 pixels. If you're using a pressure sensitive pen, click Shape Dynamics to taper both ends of the brush and change the size to 80 pixels. In both cases, make the hardness 100% and the spacing between 1 and 25%. If you're using a pen, the more you apply pressure, the thicker the line will be. Quickly draw a shape that looks similar to this. If you're not happy with it, press Ctrl or Command Z to undo it. This shape will be the left half of your tree. We want the angle to be similar to this. If it isn't, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to the top right corner of the Transform and press and hold Ctrl or Command as you drag the corner. Feel free to drag other corners until the angle is correct. To accept it, press Enter or Return. Make a copy of the shape by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Open your Transform tool again and go to Edit, Transform and Flip Horizontal. Then press Enter or Return. Go to View and make sure Snap is not checked. If it is, simply click on it. Press V to open your Move tool and press and hold Shift as you drag the right half of the tree to the right until the top of the trees meet. Merge these layers into one by pressing Ctrl or Command E. Click on the tree and move it to the center. To resize and adjust the shape, open your Transform tool. I want to bring in both sides, so I'll go to the middle side of the transform, and when I see a straight double arrow, I'll press and hold Shift and Alt on Windows, or Shift and Option on a Mac, and drag it in. I'd like to bring the tree down more on the card, so I'll click inside the transform and move it. Then I'll press Enter or Return. Next, we'll add a colorful swash at the bottom. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Click on the foreground color and pick a color you like. I'm picking a rich blue, 0050E3. Press B to open your pencil tool. To make your brush size larger, press the right bracket key on your keyboard. We're ready to draw the swash. If you're using a pressure-sensitive pen, make sure you ease off pressure as you draw it. If you're using a mouse, once you draw the line, you can taper it by brushing back over it with your eraser tool. To reposition it, open your Move tool and move it. Next, we'll add the gradient and then remove the color inside the tree. Make the background active and open your gradient tool. Click on the gradient bar to open the gradient editor. Click on the lower left stop and the color box. Type in 77B4FF. Then click OK on both windows. Go to the top 
and press and hold shift as you drag down the gradient line to where the bottom strokes end. We're ready to remove the color from inside the tree. Control click or command click on the thumbnail of the tree to make a selection of its shape. Invert the selection by pressing Control or Command Shift I. Press Q to make the selection into a quick mask. Press B to open your pencil tool and draw across the bottom of the tree to close the shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. Open your paint bucket tool and click anywhere outside the quick mask to fill it in. Press Q again to revert it back into a selection. We'll fill it with white, and since white is the background color, press Control or Command plus Delete. To delete the selection, press Control or Command D. Next, we'll add Christmas lights. If you're using a pen, click off Shape Dynamics and change the size to 35 pixels. My foreground color is blue, so I'll click on various areas of the tree to make blue lights. To make another color of lights, click on the foreground color again and pick another color. Space the lights around your tree. Repeat this with other colors. We're ready to make the star twinkle at the top. Make the top layer active and click on the new layer icon to make a new layer above it. I'll name it star. Open the polygon tool and make the sides 50. Open the gear icon, check star, and indent the sides by 95%. Go to the top of the tree and drag out the shape to near the edges of the card. Next, we'll add a gradient border to frame the card. Make the background active and click on the new layer icon to make a new layer above it. Open your rectangular marquee tool and click approximately a quarter inch from the top and the left side of the card. Drag out a rectangular selection approximately the same distance from the bottom and the right edge. Invert the selection and open your gradient tool. Click on the gradient bar and click on the lower right stop. Click on a white area of your card to pick up the color and click OK. Go to the bottom and press and hold shift as you drag up the gradient line to the top. Then delete the selection. I'll name it frame. Make the star layer active. We're ready to add your greeting. Open your horizontal type tool and choose a font. I'm using a font called MT Matto Script. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link in the video description or project files. I'll choose a point size of 28, sharp, and center alignment. Click on the color box, pick a color, and click OK. Type out your text. Feel free to make each line a different color and size. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.